Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to my sim. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. So today we'll be talking something very important. And it's about this Ethiopian Jewish Israeli woman who actually came out to gaslight herself, not even gaslight black people. Because what she was saying is that how, they, you know, she's been seeing everything going on on the social media and how, uh, how dare we, you know, black people, not how dare black people come out to speak up against what is going on. That are as a black Jewish woman and Ethiopian Israeli, now they have the right, like they have the right to defend themselves and uh, that what is going on is evil because they are the one at the receiving end. And I am here asking myself, how are you people on the receiving end? Because she was like, we have the right to protect ourselves. And who are you protecting yourself from? It is amazing how some people forget their own history, forget what is going on or what has happened to them, and then decided to be on the palm colored people's side because, I mean, because all I see is a woman fighting for the palm colored people, not for the black people or for her own self. Because I remember that Ethiopian women were all ster sterilized, like, you know, by them. People that did not even value Ethiopian Jewish, you know? And she is out here lying trying to defend what is going on and then trying to gaslight black people into it let's get into it hey so i'm in the reserves obviously and i'm scrolling to social media and i keep seeing people posting about israel and palestine given their uninformed opinion about the subject and i realized something i would like the confidence like legit i would love the confidence of people who have the most basic narrow understanding of this conflict who go ahead and post information with such a determination people who have zero understanding of the middle east and the ripple effect that happens every single time you take any action in this region like you watch two tiktok videos on one instagram post and you're like hmm, i'm down now i can weigh in on one of like arguably complicated conflict that exists in our world today. like if you cannot tell me why Yemen, actually Yemen, declare a war on Israel? Maybe you're not the right person to give geopolitical analysis on this conflict. But more than everything, I would like the audacity. The audacity of people coming to my page, a black Jewish woman, and try to educate me about my own experience. Like, yes, Karen from Minnesota, I really needed your education about my own experience in my own country. Talking to me about social justice and racism, like you care about black people in Israel, when you actively don't, because you, you care, you will talk about the fact that you are literally being slaughtered out here, but you don't. The only time you talk about the experience of black people in Israel is when you fit your political agenda when you can use and abuse our pain, our struggle, to promote your ideology. You exploit our experience, our struggles, to promote an ideology that we don't agree with. And the same people posting these things will never tell you that black people in Israel feel that this is their homeland, that they have bled and sacrificed and fought for this country. My community literally walked through deserts in order to be a part of this country. And me living here today wearing these uniforms is the actual realization of my ancestor Zionist dream. Now I understand. Majority of the people posting are extremely privileged. You are. You never had to go through war. You don't know how it feels when Rockets shoot at you every single day. Your childhood memories are not filled with buses blowing up. But more than everything, you don't know how October 7th felt. You don't know how it felt to wake up on Saturday, the holiest day for the Jewish people, and realizing that over 1,400 people in your country were killed 
in the most barbaric and humane way. They were gunned down in a party. They were gunned down while sleeping in their bed. They were tortured, bred alive, de decapitated, raped. And 241 people were kidnapped. 29 of them are children. The youngest is nine months old. What kind of a monster kidnapped a nine months old baby? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not making this video to convince you that I have the right to defend myself. I'm going to do it either way. I'm making this video to tell you that we did not start this war, but we are going to be the ones to finish it. We're going to destroy Hamas and we're going to bring our people back home. Simply as that. I'm Sai Khan. So I'm in the reserves, obviously. Okay. And I'm scrolling oh, to social media and I keep seeing people posting about Israel and Palestine. So over here is one of the people that really fascinate me. Again, she is part of the IOF, she's an Ethiopian woman, and she's an Israeli woman. Given their uninformed opinion about the subject, and I realized something. Love the confident people who have the most basic, narrow understanding of this conflict, who go ahead and post information with such a determination. So Sis goes on with the classic Zionist thing of saying that the conflict between Israel and Palestine is too complicated. This is my More favorite part. More than everything, mm -hmm. I would like the audacity. Per. The audacity of people okay. coming to my page, a black Jewish woman, <gasps> and try to educate me about my own experience. Like, yes, Karen, from ah. Minnesota, I really needed your education about my own experience in my own country. It's, it's funny to me how, for most Zionists, the audience that they're speaking directly to is the American audience. You're not talking to anybody else. The black people of Israel feel that like this is their homeland, that they have bled and sacrificed and fought for this country. Why? My community literally walked through deserts in order to be a part of this Why? Why? And me living here today, wearing this uniform, is the actual realization of my ancestral Zionist dream. Sis, Theodore Hertz, the Belfort Declaration and the people who wrote it are not your blood. They are not your blood. Nathan Hu, who is not your blood. He is not your blood. So what are we learning from this? First of all, the audience is white. The audience is a white woman in particular. What does a white woman understand about the suffering of a Jewish black woman in Israel? Nothing. So you don't qualify. That's the classic Zionist move. You are either too dumb or you're too outside of this intersection to understand the suffering of this person. So who are you to call out a Zionist colonial genocidal regime that they're committing a genocide? Sis, what does the fact that you're a black Jewish Ethiopian woman have to do with the fact that Israel is committing a genocide? I'm talking to you as another black woman. Huh? My community literally walked through deserts in order to be a part of this country. I'm going to hold your hand when I tell you this. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Your sob story is null and void because you were a victim and became a victimizer. From one Ethiopian to the next, who also has a sob story. I don't get to tell my sob story to people if I become a victimizer. Your community, i.e. my community, correct? Because I'm also Ethiopian. We both suffered. And your family decided to flee to a regime that now causes suffering on another group of people. 
In my wildest dream, I have never heard of an Ethiopian Zionist. I've heard of Ethiopian Jews because there is an amazing, beautiful community in Ethiopia that is Jewish. I have a bunch of Ethiopian Jewish friends who are not Zionist. You and your family should be embarrassed that you allowed your legacy of freedom from whatever horrors you had to suffer to then go become horrors of another ethnicity group. That is very upsetting. And as an Ethiopian, I'm very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. This has nothing to do with you being Jewish. It has something to do with you being a Zionist cult terrorist. You, my friend, are a terrorist. Philistine will be free. Israel will fall. And hopefully Ethiopian Jews take you back. Because it's quite embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Free Philistine from the river to... There is a lot of Ethiopians in Israel and yet they get treated like shit. First of all, saying dear Jewish people and then talking about Israel is already problematic enough because Jews aren't the only people there and not every Jew has anything to do with Israel. Two, there's anti-blackness and racism in every single country. You go two countries down and they have slaves. And you gotta ask, why are there so many Ethiopians in Israel in the first place? Because in Ethiopia, they're going to get killed for being Jewish, along with most of North Africa. Yeah, you're gonna deal with microaggressions in every single country. And just because there are a few racist people doesn't mean that every single Jewish person and every person in Israel is going to be racist. So this is all I got from this video. And it is really amazing how these people really think that we are fool. Why uh, Why was she even, why, how did black Americans or Africa, uh, black people get into the her discussion? Like, you know, she is seen everywhere where, like, we do not understand what we are saying. So it means we are supposed to shut up and uh, let them continue with what they are doing. And looking at her, Ethiopian Jew, coming out to tell us, like, you know, that we do not, how? How, how is it that we do not understand what is going on? How is it that we do not understand what is going on? I really do want to know it. Eh? If we do not understand, so how are people now talking about it so what she is saying is that we are supposed to keep quiet shut the hell up let them continue with what they are doing and it is amazing how people like this come out on uh, on social media to defend bullshit because this is bullshit how do you wake up to tell people that we do not know what we are doing that we are supposed to shut up and uh let them continue with what they are doing and the fact that she also lied that will also lie that they are the ones suffering that they i know you all have like because that is what they always come up to, to ask us do they not have the right to defend of course you all have the right to defend yourselves is anybody saying but then who are you defending yourself from who are you defending yourself from? Because I don't see anybody fighting you. You are the one fighting people and also saying that you have the right to defend yourself. It's just really funny how all these Zionists come out to defend what is going on. And then remind us that we are dumb, that we are not smart enough to know what is going on, that they are the ones that understand what is going on because they are Jewish. Sincerely speaking, I feel like, you know, her point and everything is kind of brain dead, you know, because like, you know, I learned that uh, they, the Ethiopian Jewish, were kind of sterilized. I mean, their women were kind of a, they sterilized it, uh, Ethiopian Jewish. And this one is out. There. I mean, this one is a lost soul because she doesn't know what is going on. And what does a palm color does a palm colored woman understand the struggle of a black Jewish or Ethiopian Jewish? Of course not. They do not understand. And she is working. I mean, what she is doing is like, you know, when you are working so hard 
she is working so hard for the palm colored people because she's not working hard for herself because if she's working hard for her to her for herself she is going to understand the plight of a uh, black jewish or ethiopian jewish but she jumped all that over to save palm colored people and uh i wish her all the best you know uh our education is something that uh, people shouldn't own take for granted especially getting to know what is happening and uh, the history of whatever that it's going on around you and all of that because if you are brainwashed when it comes to the uh, history trust me you are uh, you are on a very long thing all the best to her and that is all i got to say thank you so much and see let me know what you all think i see you all in my next video bye for now